you a question. Who knows the answer to this? We're talking about self-confidence, believing in yourself to get stuff done, to be successful. Here's my question. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Do you have to be born with self-confidence? Like either you're born with it, either you have it or you don't. Is that the case? Who knows? Yes. No, you don't have to be born with it. You have to be born with it? No, no you don't have to be born with it. Self-confidence is something that you learn. Everybody say that with me. Self-confidence is a learned skill. You can learn it over time. That's the good news is because sometimes we don't have self-confidence, but you can get there. And so people want to know, well, how? How can I build self-confidence? I always gave you some examples last time of kids I've interacted with in my martial arts school who when they came in, they weren't very self-confident, but then after training in martial arts, they became really confident. So I'm going to talk about this. I want to give you a lot of reasons on how you guys can build your self-confidence and feel better about yourselves, but I'm going to give you a super important uh, way right now. I'm going to teach you the single most important thing you need to know to build your confidence, all right? It's this right here. Confidence is built. You can build it on past success. Let's say that together. Confidence is built on past success. So what happens is, over time, once you build up like a little history of wins, a little string of victories, you feel pretty good about yourself in whatever it is we're talking about. You pretty, feel pretty self-confident in that. And that's why it's so important for you guys to have something where you can come and build a series of past victories over time. You see what I'm saying, Quentin? It's really important to have these little wins over time. That's why jiu-jitsu is so important. Look, this is no joke. Jiu-jitsu is hard. When you first come in here, do you win every time? No. no. Jiu-jitsu is hard. You go with a kid that's been here for a while, what happens? You're losing all the time. So, But over time and over time, you start winning, getting better and getting better. Now you can you know, beat that person and then maybe the next person, and so on. So that's why martial arts is so good for building self-confidence. You get belts for when you get better. It's just great. Build some muscle, some stamina. It's great for building confidence, and it will carry over into other parts of your life. So my point is, is that success breeds success. Do you know what I mean? When you have successes, you can feel more confident in yourself. Okay. But here's what people say. Well, but what if I'm not good at anything? I'm not good at, how can I get a series of past wins and get all that if I'm not good at anything right now? But, but the point here is that you can be good. Everybody raise your hand. Say, I can be good at anything I put my mind to. That's the thing, is you got to have confidence in your ability to be good. Let me give you a, a little example. This is going to sound kind of weird. This is a story. This, this guy and this woman, they were from... Uh, Hungary, they were Hungarian, the country Hungary. This is going to sound kind of weird, but they decided they were going to get married and have some kids as an experiment. <laughs> what they want, they got together, no, I'm not kidding, it's the true story, true story. Uh, they got together and said, what would happen if we got married, had kids, and we raised our kids and really got them good at chess? You know the game chess, right? And so that's what they did. They got married, they had two girls, and they, they homeschooled their kids so they could control the curriculum. And so, you guys might like this, they did just a little bit of math and just a little bit of science and a little bit of history. But guess what most of the school day was? Yeah. Chess. 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 Chess! They would just do a little bit of the other stuff and spend most of their day doing, uh, you know, you've seen those chess programs, those computer programs. Yeah. They would read chess books all day. Uh, all that stuff. And they did that for until they were 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, what do you think would happen if you started out at age 5 and you did nothing but learn chess for, you know, 10, 15 years? You know what I'm saying? What would happen? You get super, you get super good at chess. And that's what happened to these girls. These girls became world-class chess players. So, I guess their experiment was a success. But my point is, is that these girls got really, they weren't born being good at chess, were they? And they didn't come out, you know, and just walk around their diapers and start playing chess. They learned that 
over time, and they became world-class chess players, and I bet you they were pretty darn confident in their ability to play chess. Why? Because they trained all their life. You think they won every game? No, but they had those little victories over time, and you know chess has rankings, so you get better and better, and you become a master, then a grandmaster, and all that. Well, they got better over time, and so they became very confident in their chess abilities, and that's my point to you. Is you guys can be confident in anything you want to put your mind to, you just got to put in the hard work. Some people think you have to be born with talent. What's talent? What's talent, Justin? What's talent? What's talent, Lon? Something you're just good at? What are you going to say? You're going to say something? Who knows what talent is? People? Yeah. Something that you're good at? Um, something that you can accomplish well. Yeah. Some people think you're born with kind of a natural talent, like you just come out as naturally good at stuff. That happens sometimes, but most of the time it's hard work. Hard work will beat talent every time. Talent's overrated. So just because you don't have talent in something, that doesn't mean you can't be good at it. Hard it just takes talent. the hard work. Hard work will beat talent every time. So be confident, at least in your ability to get good at things. And once you get good at things, then that, that's going to... Uh, help you a lot in your confidence. And we're doing that right now with the martial arts. You're coming in here and you're getting your little victories. You got them around your waist. You got belt collars, you got stripes. Those stand for a little improvements that you're making. And over time, you're gonna get more and more and more. And martial arts is gonna give you confidence and that's gonna carry over into the rest of your lives too. All right, so with that being said, let's line up for advanced class. We're gonna pick up uh, that topic we left off last time. On three, one, two.